Hi guys, it's Rachel and I have never done this like ever. So the first outfit that I have here. So today I'm actually refilming a video that I just put up this morning, which was this one right here, if you guys are familiar with it. I have this thing with perfectionism. I know a lot of people do and I was just trying to go through it and even though I wasn't happy with it, I tried to put it up anyway. Lo and behold, a lot of people had very similar feedback to what I was thinking of before I put the video and it was that it was extremely shaky and that had to do with the particular camera that I was using. So I decided to pick my most stable camera, put it on a tripod and refilm this for you guys. I really think the content is good and I believe in the content and I want you guys to really just get through it and not get vertigo. You know what I mean? That being said, I'm just gonna be filming a bunch of outfits that I'm throwing together. I'm gonna to go from laziest everyday outfit to like the most dressy everyday outfit. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I style things. These are gonna be very realistic things that I wear day to day. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram already, you definitely can. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below because I do a lot of outfit inspo over there as well. So with that being said, we are just gonna get right to it. This is look one. So if you guys watched the first one, which isn't up anymore, I'm gonna have a picture on the screen of what the OG outfit of this looked like. But I decided to almost make it look like a little bit like Ashley Spinelli. I think that this reminds me of recess so much. So instead of the moto jacket, I actually put it with this tie jacket I have from Nasty Gal, as well as my Brandy Melville sweatpants, the gray crew neck, and the beanie. I also matched it with these boots that are lug sold that I actually picked up from Zara. They're currently sold out right now, but you can definitely get a notification of when they come back in. But overall, I think that this is a really, really cute outfit. So, so this is the kind of look that I'd be wearing if I had sweatpants and a sweatshirt on already, and I was trying to accessorize it a little bit, just so I looked a little bit more presentable leaving the house. I like to stick to a monochromatic scheme, having a black leather trench or something like that on, along with this pair of boots. I feel personally very fitting for any lazy day look. Okay guys, this is outfit two. I decided to accessorize with a lot of brown and gold detailing. So currently I am wearing a trouser jean that are from Fidelity that I picked up from Simply Suzette. Um, I'm not sure if she's actually carrying these anymore, but if not, I will link something similar. But the great thing about these jeans is that they are trouser jeans. And one thing I love about trouser jeans is how comfortable they are, which is why I have these on like casual level too, because even though they're denim, they're stretchy, they're forgiving, and they give a very, very nice flattering silhouette. So it's almost like you're wearing a pajama kind of, but not really. This is the jacket and the top that I'm wearing with it. And it is both thrifted. Um, I actually picked this one up on my last thrift trip. This is the Tomahawk jacket. I'm gonna link that video somewhere up here. And then I'm wearing this plain gray crew neck, which I'm sure everyone has in their closet, as well as this brass belt, and then my trusty and Demoul and Demoulinister boots. So overall, this is very Western inspired, but I think it's very, very easy to put together, super casual, and just a big thumbs up for me. Guys, I think I figured it out with these boots. So if you guys saw the last video, or are on my Instagram, you would know I was talking about these croc boots that I just got from Nasty Gal. And the one thing about them I find is that they can make someone easily look very, very stumpy. I have a slouchy bit adds width to your um, calf and stuff like that. So I decided to pair it with a more narrow pant. These are kind of like a riding style pant. I got these at Zara. And I think that this looks just a lot more streamlined and something that would photograph a lot better and stuff like that. I also put on this blazer that I thrifted as well as the little nasty gal tank underneath um, just for a little extra something. Um, I love playing with proportions like this. So if you notice the jacket is quite long, the shoes are high, the pants are tight, things oversized, you know, like the whole bit. But 
I really like the way this looks on top as well because this is just slightly a little oversized. The tank top makes it look just slightly um, more like you have a figure and a waist underneath. So I really like that part too. I also wore it with my Ray-Ban sunglasses and my hair middle parted. Guys, this is always the goal to look taller than I actually am. So black on black at the bottom and then something like this on the top just really, really works for me and my proportions. I feel like this could be a very versatile look for a lot of different body types, so love it. Okay guys, this is the fourth look and this is probably my favorite of all the ones I've shown this video, mainly because it's a little bit different than what I normally wear. You guys are like, hey, great, cute sweater. That looks kind of familiar. Short story, I saw a girl wear the Aritzia cardigan backwards and it looked super cute on her and I wasn't sure if I was feeling it, but I'm pretty sure it was the outfit I was in. And so I decided to try it myself with this Aritzia cardigan. So this, guys, is that classic Aritzia cardigan backwards. So I wasn't sure if this literally just looks like I'm putting my sweater backwards or something like that, but a lot of you guys really, really liked it. So that is what I'm wearing right now. It gives the sweater a second life, which I really, really, really like. I love that it kind of cinches you in at the waist here. Um, clearly not wearing a bra, but if I were, I'd be doing sticky boobs just to avoid like the bra strap showing in the back. And I'm actually wearing the exact same Zara pants that I had with the boots tucked in. And overall, I think that this is a very cute outfit. If I were to add a jacket on top, I would probably just do something very neutral. Um, I love the split hem of these pants because they just give the illusion that your legs look way longer than they actually are. And I'm really all here for winter white. This is it teamed up with just a simple coat that I have on from Uniqlo. And because the pants are stretchy and there's a ton of room in this slouchy sweater, this is ultra, ultra comfortable, but also just looks really, really chic. Um, I'm aware that my pants trail a lot on the ground. I do need to get them hemmed, so don't come at me for it. <laughs> I love this jacket because it is wool and cashmere, so it keeps me super warm, but at the same time, it's very, very thin and light. Guys, just when I thought that outfit was my favorite, I put this one on and realized this one was definitely my favorite. If you guys saw my yesterday's video, you'll know that the Nasty Gal and Cara Delevingne um, line just came out and these pants are from it. I just put them on my Instagram and they are a freaking dream. They are just a wide leg trouser with a very, very cute little detail on the waist right here that kind of crisscrosses. And I decided to wear it with just my classical fitted black turtleneck. My hair is still tucked into it, but I feel like it just makes me look a little more chic and put together. So this is just the perfect all black everything outfit. You guys know I always have to include one of these, but I think that this just like is such a good look, like because the pants are so wide and the uh, turtleneck is so fitted. This is just like the perfect like look that you could wear to an office if you put on a blazer if you need to be a little bit more formal um i decided to wear these today with my c by chloe chunky boots and the great thing about these boots is that they don't have a super high incline and that means that they're super comfortable i've been able to walk in them all day no problem and i'm not a heels girl guys so that really is amazing they're really really comfy so i'm gonna try to link them or like a platform chelsea boot for you guys and this is just literally the most perfect classic bag of course it doesn't have to be designer whatever you guys choose to wear but i think adding a little brown in contrast with the rest of this all black outfit is really 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 great so this just looks super professional really really smart and i don't know really into this guys so guys that is the end of this outfit video it was really important for me to make it better because i want to give you guys the content you deserve but if you like this and you have someone to share outfit ideas with share this video with them and let me know also which one was your favorite in the comment section below i'm going to try to have all the links and everything but yeah i just wanted to thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon bye guys